the water. It was a cold, wet winter's day. Duck was at Knapford Station when James arrived. Of all the jobs he is given, James likes pulling coaches best of all. It's a shame you've been stuck with a goods train, Duck. But I suppose somebody has to pull cars. Oh, I thought you sometimes pulled cars too. That may be, but splendid-looking engines such as myself should always pull passengers. After all, the passengers prefer it. Hmm. But things don't always turn out the way James would like them to. Oh, who can appreciate my bright red paintwork in this weather? There had been a lot of rain on the island of Sodor, and the rivers were high. over Duck's branch line. When he saw that the track had been flooded, so he went to warn Sir Topham Hatt. But it was too late. Oh. Oh. James was just settling down to have a rest when he saw Sir Topham Hatt coming across the yard. Uh-oh, I hope he's not looking to give me another job. Ah, James, you have no job at the moment. Duck is stuck in the floodwater and needs to be lifted out. But I'm waiting for my next passenger train, sir. Well, you'd better get going then. The quicker you rescue Duck, the sooner you'll be back. But, sir... If Duck fell in the water, whose fault is that? It's nobody's fault, James. It was an accident. But I need an engine to take Rocky and help him out. Huh. I thought ducks liked being in the water. James! James didn't think fetching Rocky was a very suitable job for a splendid engine such as himself. But sometimes, every engine has to do a job that they don't like. That ought to do it! Come on, Rocky! We have to rescue Duck! Oh, okay, James! But you'll have to wait while I have my crane arm secured! Nonsense! Duck is stuck in the water! And the sooner we get him out... The sooner I can get back to doing something more suitable. And James pulled away before Rocky's crane arm had been secured. A signal is very important indeed. Hurry up! It's cold and wet in here. 
Keep your steam in, Duck. We're coming to rescue you. I don't have any steam, James. The water is... The water has put out my firebox. James had to position Rocky in front of him for the rescue. to have my wheels on dry track again, I can tell you. Honestly, I thought ducks liked being in the water. <laughs> James thought this was very funny, even though he knew Duck wasn't really a duck. Duck isn't even my real name. My real name is Montague. Meanwhile, all of the while, Oliver was coming along Duck's branch line too. But he didn't see any signal warning him to stop or slow down. <laughs> Luckily, nobody was hurt. But James was very cross. Oliver, why didn't you look where you were going? There was a yellow signal back there. I didn't see any signal. Um, please... Can I get out the water now? Rocky started to lift Duck back out of the water again. And Oliver started to back up so that his driver could put up a warning flag. But then there was more trouble. <laughs> By this time, Harold had seen what was going on. And he flew back to fetch a top of hat. At last, Rocky managed to lift Duck back onto the, onto the tracks. Thank you, Rocky. You're welcome, Duck. So many accidents. How could this have happened on my railway? I'm very sorry, sir, but it must be my fault. I must have knocked down the signal pole. My crane arm wasn't secured, and I was swinging about. It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. I was in a hurry to go. It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. I was in a hurry to go, and Rocky wasn't ready, so... So... Oh, actually, sir, I suppose it was my fault. I didn't give Rocky time to secure his crane arm properly. That's why he was swinging about. I can't say that I am very happy about this, James, but I am proud of you for admitting what you have done. Perhaps it would be best if you made amends by pulling Duck's cars while his firebox dries out. Yes, sir, I'd be happy to. <laughs> Pulling cars may not be his favorite job, and James knows that he can't always do the jobs he likes best. But so long as the sun is shining, he is a very splendid looking bright red engine indeed.